How am I gonna ever clean this up? Where am I gonna put this? I don't know, it's, it's, it's just rancid. I've got about a hundred different compounds going in this little pile. On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex versus situation going on with Robo Alive versus Smashers. We have the Robo Alive Mega Dino Fossil find, which should contain the Tyrannosaurus Rex with that golden pickaxe on the egg. And then over to the Smashers Monster Truck with the red flame, there should be the T Rex truck inside. So, a versus battle of what is inside. If you recall, we had checked out the great Brontosaurus from the Mega Dino Fossil find, which was quite a lot of fun to put together. And we had found the shark truck the Shark Enforcer number 34 inside the Monster Truck Smashers, and they were so much fun, we had to come back and revisit. Seemed like a perfect smash and combo of Robo today to see these two together. So follow along as we unhinge these great eggs and find out what's inside and construct ourselves a very nice Tyrannosaurus Rex Monster Truck fossil. Yeah. Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede. stampede. There is a lot of container here. Can we contain the excitement for Robo Alive Mega Dino Fossil Find and or Smashers Monster Wheels, both T-Rex inspired? Maybe take on out the Mega Dino Fossil Find first. Gotta be a T-Rex with the golden pickaxe, right? Helpful pull zipper number one. Oh, I recall this one was murder last time. Let's go with the trucks instead. Maybe the trucks will be more forgiving. So if you're basing this off of opening pull zippers, Smasher's monster trucks just won the win. I thought maybe leaving this in the cold garage during Thanksgiving break would help it out. Oh, look at there, look at there. Make a dino coming back from the dead. Problem is, how difficult will it be on the rest of this thing? And it's back to Smasher's Monster Wheels. They win. The wheel wins. So with the red flame, you should be getting the red truck. And how do we monster smash this out? Smash goes the whale! And recall, we are loaded with some very, very interesting packs of truck. And our attention then goes back over to the egg. I can only surmise they used a heat seal machine from the Jurassic to burn this onto the egg. But we are out, we are out, and we can smash, and smash, and crack open our fossil find. Oh, and don't forget to remove the gold pickaxe from your egg. You will be needing that in a little bit. Hello, now we've seriously got ourselves into this one, haven't we? Which package has the gold dipped treasure? Which one, which one could it be? Oh wait, this is not treasure X. This is Robo Alive Smasher's Monster Wheels. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's where we're at. A lot of stages to choose from, a lot of, a lot of instructions. I'm just gonna throw those to the side today. We know what we're doing, right? Let's go right with this dude that looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villain crying in the parts and pieces. Just tear this one open. Let's get the big thing out of the way. And it's a truck chassis. Chassis, 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 whatever. The inner workings of our truck and a little bit of a grill. Pretty easy start there. Do we go with my favorite compound of the year? I think we should. This one, this is Mega Dino Fossil Find Dino Sand, and it's in this really cool shell container. You can do it, you can do it. Damn it. And again, this has the Volcano Dino Fossil Find, which was a little interesting. It's like they had a unique, different name for it. I love this thing though, it's it's packed full of soft sands. Look at it, look at it go, it's so squishy. 
It says squeezy squeezy. It's that kind where you like squeeze it together and it pops apart. Oh, someone just really shredded some foam to get this to work. One of my favorites. Look at it pop. Look at it pop. Oh, and it makes a mess. It makes a mess, so please don't do this on the tapestries. Why do I always mention the tapestries? Look how that just bubbles out. And, and we've got our torso of our Rex, I hope. Oh, don't tell me we got another Brontosaurus and it would throw off my whole plan. Feels slightly different than what we saw last time. So I'm pretty sure this is the body of a Rex. You can kind of see here the body of the almost identical uh, Brontosaurus. To so well, well, we'll just keep going and we'll figure this out. And my favorite part about this one is such a huge resealable, easy to use plastic container. A lot of these bags, you know, it's hard to re-bag re slime and keep it fresh. Uh, this stuff, you just foam it on into this bowl here and you've got plenty of fun for later. So we started pretty well with the inner workings of the insides of our trucks and dinosaurs. Check out these stickers, by the way, puffy. We got a really creepy scorpion amber, a really not so creepy but annoying fly in amber, and a really, really creepy spider in amber. I love the little puffiness of these stickers. They're fun. I think those must have came with the monster trucks. And with the dinosaurs, we got these cool lenticulars. We've got a shark that goes into a truck. This might be the truck we're looking for today, actually. This is a Rex truck. And one more. Nope, that's the scorpion. Did we see the scorpion? Ah, we saw the scorpion. Somewhere in here, there's another truck. But we'll just go right to this. What is this? Wheels! Wheels! Oh, if I recall, wheels were awesome. Wheels were so awesome. What do we got for wheels? Let me tell you, we got wheels. And some really fantastic asphalt compound. Perhaps leaving this in my garage was not the best idea. It has like this really high potent, uh, sharp cheddar smell to it right now. You don't really like that, don't care for that. This is fun though, fish tank rocks, kind of like uh, asphalt material for building roads. Really cool stuff, but it's a little bit dirty, so watch out, it may smear up your tabletop. But we got four wheels, right? One, two, three, Four. He's got four big wheels and he ain't using any of them. That from my old favorite Monster Jam game. Yeah, this stuff's really cool. I love the idea of making a little speed bump for your truck. And it's it's starting to um, mix in a little bit with, uh-oh. Well, now I've done it. I've mixed it in with some of the foam, foam powder from the Rex set. How is that going to change things up? I have no idea but it's not a good thing. Roll, roll, roll over the compound. Okay, well let's see our next surprise. What could be our next surprise? How about back here? Mega Dino Fossil Find Dino Slime. That should do it, that should really do it. That should really be stuck on that side. That just didn't help at all. Scissors, okay. This stuff you do want to be careful if you want to reseal this bag. And we've got some interesting dinosaur fossil finds here. We've got a giant leg. Oh my, like a hip bone or something. That is incredibly huge bone compared to the Bronto we pulled earlier. And more stuff. Oh no, I just dropped the slime into the road mix. Uh oh, oh, it's a foot. There's something afoot, definitely the fossil find of a Rex. Good consistency though. Maybe leaving in the garage over the Thanksgiving break was the way to go for the other leg. Definitely want to clean these up in a little bit. And okay, it's a foot over here. And little tiny forearms. Did this basically have the entire skeleton of the Rex? And we'll clean up these pieces when we build. And now I've done it. Now I've really done it. Um, this is how you make an omelet. How to gum up your camera, that's for sure. It's interesting, I'm curious what's gonna happen to this fish tank rock. It really wants to hold itself together 
but mixing it in with the slime, it says, no, no, I'm good. I don't really want to join forces with the green slime. I, I just want to be myself. So that is a great mushy surprise. Probably need to bake for uh, 20 minutes and 450. That is one big pile of slime, yeah. Haha, <laughs> dinosaur. Indeed, you're right, Malcolm. What can we find next, though, in our bags? Maybe something more monstrous. She'll help us out. Walls! What do we have in the walls? More gummy sand. This is a heavier substance than what we saw in the shell. Can make for great obstacles. Oh, the bricks! I love the bricks. These were fun. These right here were reason to pick up a few monster truck smasher sets so you could build a really big brick wall. You only get, I think, three giant brick pieces. So if you were to pick up a couple different wheel eggs, you would have enough to build a mighty wall. And these, these wheels aren't too bad. You usually find them about $20 this time of year. And the bricks are also great for massaging in your compound into this beautiful cake mix I've got going here. Oh, this is going to be a delicious Christmas feast at my family. Oh, we will eat this, and then I'll be in the emergency room for the rest of the week, if not under the ground. Um, yeah, don't eat this. Uh, I don't even know what to do with it. Since I kept the compounds from the other sets nice and clean, I was able to go about this today. Uh, what did we need to do next? Uh, Mega Dino? Yeah, we just did truck, so let's do another Mega Dino find. Some of these zip pulls are almost impossible today. Must go to gym more often. No, must play. Okay. Oh, it's so soft. Well, these compounds are almost the same. This is like a smooshy soft foam. This was like a smooshy soft sand. And this stuff was like a smooshy, um, smooshy, you know, I'll add a little more in there. Uh, Shredded foam is what I wanted to say. Shredded foam. Whereas this is a really soft, rubbery foam. Shredded foam, rubbery foam. Everybody got that? And T-Rex tail. T-Rex tail. I should open up a salon where I say, hey, we're going to drop this on your head. And, oh, did I miss this? What is this? Um, I missed this from earlier. Got to be careful when combining everything. Sometimes you got to flip your omelet to make everything good. Gotta flip that, I need it. Really need in everything that you have to have. Look at that. This is starting to look like something from the Jurassic, I'll tell you that. That looks maybe important. All right, next. Okay, now whose turn is it next? I think it's back to truck, maybe? What's in this one? Oh, the shell of our dino truck. Always surprised how small these are. I always think of them to be much larger, but maybe once it's attached to the chassis, it will feel larger. The, the shark truck certainly beefed out after time, so when you first pull the red frame, little bit small. And there's our T-Rex theme, by the way. You can see the T-Rex there painted off the side of the truck. Some scarring, some slashing. Pretty radical ride. Um, magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. If you need a magnifying glass to kind of go, what in tarnation did we make over here? I tell you what, I've seen some things but never something so disgusting as this. And so that's a pretty cool little extra. I like this. It's a, actually a really high dollar for a dollar magnifying glass. They spent some money on that. All right, anything else? Uh, what's in this? Oh, our characters. Well, we've got a, oh, that's such a cool dinosaur. Nothing beats the Smashers animated dinosaur look. Always fun to look at those guys. He's got a tail wrapped around his tail. What? He's got a tire, I should say, wrapped around his tail. I don't know how he would have a tail wrapped around his tail, but that is fun. That's the only thing they really painted and this little splotch on him. And then we have a trophy. This guy reminds me again of Badgie from uh, Lower Decks. Kind of creepy, like, I've got sentience and now I'm going to kill you type of thing. 
So, okay, where are we at now? I think we only really have one or two things left. We've got, oh, there's something here. We've got Monster Slime. Check this out. Trying to get some of these open. This one just won't unseal. I'm gonna have to go underneath the zip line. Oh, this is the good stuff. You know it's good when it just oozes out slowly. And we've got some traffic cones. That's right, the other really cool part of the Sm Smashers monster truck was the cones. The cones and the bricks really make for a fun speedway. Some obstacles. Got that going and some nice, lovely black tar. Lovely black tar here. Three heavy cones. Are you a fan of RC racing? Are you a fan of uh, other smashing things? You could totally reuse these cones for many, many different purposes. Many. <laughs> so, it's so everywhere. Many different purposes are good with this stuff. Oh. Yay. And this slime is actually doing well. Really well. Okay. It does help to lower the temperature. I've just noticed today. Keeping the slime in a cold, frigid garage really <laughs> creases the boogerage. And that is our last experiment. We've got the fossil rock experiment. Let's take the package off. Somewhere in here is our Rex head, I think. Oh, I got fossil debris all over my pants and my chair. Oh, so I do believe our T-Rex head is inside here. As we found, I believe everything we needed to find Help you out there, Big Gray. We found most of the skeletal structure of our Rex, except for our head. So this is great for this part. And it'll take me about 20 years. All right, um, use the pointy side. It works better. And somewhere, somewhere in here, is our oh giant skull i think i found it look at there we've uncovered something something fossilized and of course packaged in amazing plastic there we go everything should just crumble away now oh this is the worst to clean out of camera batteries, by the way. Okay, there it is. Our T-Rex head, ready to be assembled onto a monster truck. I mean, a, a T-Rex body. As for the rest of this experiment, oh, hello. Well, I've done some things that I'm not proud of today. How am I gonna ever clean this up? Where am I gonna put this? I don't know, it's, it's, it's just rancid. I've got about a hundred different compounds going in this little pile. Uh, I don't believe they're supposed to be like this. Um, yeah. So, maybe I could like seal it all up into a bowling ball and go bowling with it. That'd be fun. Um, yeah. So, we're gonna clean this depository up, this mess, and then we will begin building. It's gonna be awesome. Hang in there. Okay, so we've cleaned everything up and oh, what is this? Oh no, it's some sort of mechanical Tyrannosaurus Rex monster truck. I don't think we've constructed this at all at how we are supposed to. But yeah, all our parts and pieces are now cleaned up. There must be the main torso midsection of our Rex and our chassis and our frame of our car there, and then bones aplenty, fossils aplenty to place together. Yikes! We gotta organize this a little bit better. Honestly, it would have been really fun had they made this series interchangeable, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be funny? You could like place your Rex legs onto your chassis here. Well, we probably should put our feet on first. Uh, which foot goes on where? There's little key key placements here. I hope this is the right foot. Maybe not. That might not be the right one. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one feels better. So we got this one. One foot embedded right. Probably on this side now. This foot then will go on the other. I love the weathered look 
of these fossils. What they did with the fossils looks so cool. I think we got that like so. And now we can add to our truck, right? So had this been interchangeable, this would have been a solidly fun series. Little tiny forearms on our Rex there. And then the head up front, a mechanical monster Rex. Anyhow, maybe that's next season. So let's continue on with the fossil here. I gotta figure out what is the front and what is the back with this. I think this is the back. That's the back over there. That would make the most sense. There is, of course, also a very helpful Robo Alive fossil guide of our T-Rex and some fossil facts. Uh, this is the height of a, a human next to this weathered creature monster. So that would say this is going to be in this direction. Okay, yeah, you can see the little little forearm placement parts. And I appreciated how well the Brontosaurus kept its uh, limbs on nice and tight, so maybe that will be the same for the Rex. Maybe not. That's gonna come off pretty easy, probably. Maybe a little bit of slime glue will help that out. Quite big. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Quite big. These legs are really loose, though. He's gonna be standing in a very wide stance. She's got, uh, she or he has got quite the wide stance. Then for the head, uh, it's gonna only go one way or the other. The ball joint goes into the head, so this has to key in just right here. Right there, not much articulation with this one. I think the brontosaurus might be my favorite still, but we'll see. Head on top, opening and closing chompers. And let's get a tail for balance. Right now it's really wanting to fall forward. Okay, we got it. There is our Rex. The Robo Alive Fossils is such an impressive series from Zuru. Typically they make their dinosaurs a little more cartoony, which I do like, but this also is fearsome. There we have our Rex and our Pronto now built. Look at the stance, what a funny creature. Should have some electronics in there. Uh, oop. Last time activating it was a little bit of a challenge. Right now it does not want to activate. This one sure does. Let's see if I can figure out this one real quick. The tail should activate. So I'm gonna have to remove battery cover. Something's not, something's not connecting very well. Three batteries inside. They look like Hexbug nano batteries. So I've got a whole bunch of those. I'll just do a quick, quick change out. Okay, installed some fresh batteries and I made sure they're touching both sides of the contacts. That might have been more of the problem that I was having and now... We've got some life in her. And there we go. Now for the moment of truth. Tail down. Alright. Little glow action in the rib cage. She's quite impressive, especially next to Bronto now. The two really work together the way they're in kind of an action stance, if you will. Kind of like they're a little bit hanging out together, maybe doing some fossil play. So really fun. I really like how they've done these. I like the texture, weather look of the bone structures of these. Really cool, really fun build. So now we got to go over to our monster truck build. Where's our truck pieces? Got to find our chassis. And we can add on our shell. Already making the truck feel larger in scale now, especially now that we'll add tires in. And of course the front bumper, gotta have a front bumper. And our Rex of T transport has been built. Also got a driver, don't forget, you can take your little driver of Rex and place it in there. And then if you hit the bumper just right, we'll pop him out. So there you go, Rex versus Rex. What is the better set? I think it's gonna be very subjective up to you and what you prefer. Are you a Monster Jam monster truck collector? You got a great looking T-Rex truck, nice and strong, red and sharp. Or if you're a dinosaur fossil fanatic and love collecting fossils and dinosaurs, building, constructing, the angle of the Robo Alive fossil sets are a lot of fun. Oh, and we have one more surprise, I almost forgot. The Smasher Wheels. Now I hope we can see some more of these wheel packs later on. They're really fun. Or should I say, they're wheelie fun. They're wheelie fun. <laughs> but yeah, Smashers is all about smashing stuff. This goes back to the core beginnings, humble beginnings of Smashers. Just breaking something open. What do we have inside? Oh, that's right, these are really tough. Maybe from the top down. No. Oh, we got it. 
It's a flaming fire TNT guy, maybe. That's a fun one. And over here we've got a rat. A very cool looking rat. The Smashers animated style, always fun. Look at the little twirly eyes on this rat. A little bit of spiral, a little bit of vibration there, a little bit of real life characteristics. Funness all around. Oh, and there's one more thing we almost forgot to do. The surprises never end. Let's rotate our truck around. We forgot the flames. This little flame guy reminded me. Don't forget, like the golden pickaxe on the Robo Alive on the outer shell, we can remove this. And we've got our flame piece. And that should simply smash onto the back of the truck for some sound effects. I think flame side up. Looking good. And driving back our shark into play. Not sure where the driver went. He popped out somewhere off of the I-95. Uh, there we go. Look at these two. They look so great together. They certainly beef up once the wheels are on. The frames look so small. But in reality, we've got a truck that is about five inches high and about nine inches long with those flames coming out the back and about four and a half inches wide. So once built, they're actually pretty, pretty good handfuls of truck. Is that the other truck? The other truck out there is kind of like an old school classic white skullish vehicle uh, monster truck. Uh, I believe maybe the orange flame? The red flame tire will get you the red truck. The yellow flame tire gets you the shark truck. So if you see a different flame coming out of a big tire pack, that's going to be the opposite truck. Yeah, maybe ask me about this in a couple years. Dan, what happened to the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex Robo Alive Sand and the um, shark monster truck T-Rex Smashers Slime? Where, where is that? Where is What happened with that? And there we go with Robo Alive Mega Dino Fossil Find of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Smashers Monster Trucks and the Dino Drifter Red Truck. Both very fun to team up together and play. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live, squamant, your favorite Robo Alive and or Smashers truck. Don't forget we now have Squirrel Stampede merch out like a plush Landry t-shirts, water bottle, all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. And as for this stuff here, I might need to get a hazardous waste license.